Judge Watson, uh, you're the national president of the Australian National Flag Association. Well, actually, of Tasmania. Tasmanian president. The Tasmanian president, mm -hmm. and you're also the uh, state convener of Australians for Constitutional Monarchy. I am. Mm. Now, in relation to the Constitutional Monarchy, what's the situation of the Republic debate in Tasmania? It rears its head every so often, David, but let's say it's got no guts. It's really a dead issue in Tasmania. Some of the leading Republicans, they come out every so often with, uh, say, Greg Barnes with the same old issue, but it gets no play. And significantly, the now leader of the opposition in Tasmania, who was a Republican, Will Hodgman, whom I know very well, it's a non-issue with Will as well. Of course, his father, Michael Hodgman, is one of the leading constitutional monarchists, not only in Tasmania, but Australia. But overall, David, it's, it's just a, a, a closed subject, if you like, that gets an airing every so often. Yes, I remember very much the leadership that Michael Hodgman gave. Yes, very much in so. Tasmania. Now, in relation to the flag, is there any move in Tasmania to change either the national flag or the state flag? No, there's not, uh, David. That's interesting you should say that, because going in past years, it's a more of a topic than what it is now. I think these topics have been uh, arose. They've been sufficiently and adequately dealt with. Uh, there are those diehards that always will bring them up like a, a cracked record. Mm. But on both subjects, including the flag and the state flag, there's not a lot of debate, there's not a lot of contention. Having said that, of course, we should never rest on our laurels, always uh, monitor mm -hmm. the situation, but uh, at the moment, no, it's not a pertinent subject. Is there any constitutional issue which is uh, pressing in Tasmania at the moment? Well, that is, remains to be seen. There was a constitutional issue at the last state election where it became very tight and the governor at the time, Peter Underwood, had to uh, make a decision what party would govern and it ended up with uh, the current Labor Party in accord with the Greens. That was a constitutional issue. We await with the next issue to see uh, whether that's going to repeat itself. My opinion is I think the Liberals will win on their own. Now I saw uh, on another matter, I saw a very interesting address by you, or talk by you. It was on YouTube about Risdon Cove. Yes. What was that about? That's a rather controversial subject uh, and a long subject. Uh, in 1803, September, the first British settlement took place at a place called Risdon Cove. That was the British settlement in Tasmania under a 23-year-old man, a Lieutenant John Bowen. Come the year 2003, it was politically incorrect, uh, incorrect to uh, acknowledge the British settlement, so therefore it was ignored and they went on to the 2004 European invasion of Hobart, which they termed in 1995. I have to say a Liberal Premier handed over Risdon Cove to uh, the uh, Aboriginal activist Mike Mansell and his group and since then, the, the very historical uh, site pertinent to Australia, not just to Tasmania, has been in decline. It's been neglected. It's an absolute scandal of uh, its political correctness gone mad. And my concern over since 1995 is to uh, herald that uh, madness, if you like, to, uh, to Tasmania. And with the help of other Aboriginal communities, who are concerned as well. well that's very interesting. It is. You have the support of I have other Aboriginal communities. Mike Mansell on the ABC radio said, oh, well, Reg Watson, he talks, uh, he's always on anti-Aboriginal things. That is not true. I have wonderful support from uh, uh, members of the Aboriginal community who are also concerned what has happened over there, who enjoy having a uh, celebrating dual heritage and one of the groups I'd like to mention is the Liaputa, a Liaputa Aboriginal community, and I have a, a close relationship like them on the issue. That's the Liaputa Aboriginal community? Yes. And uh, what your principal concern is the destruction of our heritage? Uh, certainly, the destruction of our heritage and our... Uh, uh, look, it's got to the stage, David, where the Tasmanian government made a decision not so long ago that the historical site of Risdon Cove, to put it in brackets, is no longer an historical site. Now, that is rewriting of history, mm. George Orwellian, if you like, and it, it's just scandalous. You've got the uh, origin of Tasmania there, the second settlement in Australia, 
saying it didn't exist. And why it didn't exist? Because it's going to cause offence to a certain small amount of radical people. This is unacceptable. And the radical people go across the races. Yes, there. yes. Well, that's another subject. I can say another half hour on that, David. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that point, thank you very much. Ah, it's a pleasure. That's been very interesting, and uh, I'm sure the viewers will find that interesting. Thank you.